We had this uh, this exercise earlier. We're going to do the same thing now in the National League where we reviewed the wow. Pocota projections posted by Baseball Prospectus for last year. Then we ran the final standings from last year, and then we ran their numbers for this year. There were some big win totals in the National League. I'm, I'm curious how they did. Well, they did really well in the American League last year. Let's start in the NL East where they uh, were a little light on the Braves. They were a little light on the Mets. They nailed the Phillies. Wow. They were a little heavy on the Marlins, and they were a little heavy on the Nationals. So they nailed two of them. Uh, and then the rest of it was kind of a hodgepodge. This year, they say the Mets are going to be the cream of the crop at 96 Boy, wins. Five wins over, over the Braves? Mm. Well, how about three 90-win teams in that division? I don't disagree. Wow. That's very strong. Where are they getting all the wins, though? Because you're not going to beat up in the division. Well, they're not going to play in the division. It's a balanced schedule now. I mean, yeah. they, could, they could earn those wins at the bottom of the NL Central, the bottom of the NL West. In fact, let's move on through the National League and hit you with the NL Central, where the Brewers uh, did not meet the expectations that Pakoda had on them. St. Louis far exceeded the expectations. They were 13 wins to the plus. They were pretty good with the Cubs. They were heavy on Cincinnati, and they were pretty good. I'll give them a pretty good on, on Pittsburgh. Look, if you're plus minus four or five wins on your preseason win total projection, that's good. I think that's pretty good. And they once again have the Brewers as the favorites. The, the Pocota numbers always are very generous with Milwaukee every year, and they whiffed on the Brewers last year. So we'll see what happens this year. They've got them as an 88 That's without team. Josh Hader for a full season. That's true, and I, I, do, I think the Cubs, and I know you feel the same way, I think the Cubs are going to be better, much better than last year's 74-win team. They've got them at 77 wins. I think they're closer to a 500 team this year. I really do. Yeah, I, I, I can Jamison see that. Jamison Tyone, Dansby Swanson, I just I think they're better and for a lot of reasons. Let's go to the NL West, where the Dodgers were supposed to be a 100-win season, and they ended up with a franchise record 111 wins. They were pretty good with San Diego, pretty good with the Giants, pretty good with Arizona and the Rockies. Boy, Pocota was all over the West last year well, with that, the exception of the Dodgers. Well, look at the numbers. They got the Giants no better. The Rockies, same number. I mean, the D-backs, same number again. That That's Look, I, I wow. it's, it's, hard, it's to, hard to argue against it, it. It really is because, as you just mentioned, like, those top three teams in the NL East have to get their wins somewhere, and they're being collected, according to Pakoda, at the expense of teams like the Rockies, the Reds, and the Pirates. And it, it's hard to argue against that, at least on paper. They've got the Dodgers, of course, as the, uh, the division winners at 96 wins. But as you and I had already talked about, we too feel like San Diego has closed a lot of ground this year. That's really going to be a great, great race in the NL West.